Welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VII, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I know last episode that I said I would probably be starting in a different area. In fact, I don't know if it was the last episode or not that actually cut out on me. If it was, uh, I apologize. I, uh, I hit the key that took me, you know, that brought me out of the game on accident. And, uh, then it, um, it, uh, when that happens, uh, apparently when it first happens, it doesn't actually shut the recording off. And then, when you try to go back, it does shut the, the recording off. So that's what happens. I tried to go back, I'm like, wait, is it still recording? And when I clicked back, it shut off. Okay, so... Um, yeah, last episode I said I was going to um, start farming some limits. I'm actually not going to do that. Uh, I didn't have time yesterday to start doing that. And I got to get three my last three episodes done today um, to make it through vacation. So what we're going to do is finish everybody's best weapon. Um, this last episode... I finished getting everybody's final limit except for Clouds. Like I said, Clouds is going to have to be later on. Um, so yeah. So this episode is going to be focused on best weapons. Um, next episode is probably going to be focused on best weapons and chocobo racing. And then uh, Friday's episode will most likely be... Um, chocobo racing and probably starting to farm um, either starting to farm sources or starting to farm um, limits. It might, I might start to farm sources because while I'm farming sources I will also be getting the limits. Um, Alright, so this right here will be This right here will be uh, Sid's best weapon. Venus Gospel. That is Sid's best weapon. Alright, so let me look on here real quick. I, I, I could have read that for you, but I didn't. I'm trying to go through. Alright, we have... Let's, let's figure out which ones we have so far. Okay, we have Barrett's. We have Tifa's. Um, Eris is all done with her stuff, obviously. We don't have her anymore. We have Kate Sits. We have Sid's now. We have Yuffie's. And we have Vincent's. So we only need Clouds. We have Barrett's. We have Tifa's. Um, we need Red 13's. We have Kate Sits, Sid's. Yuffie's and Vincent's. So we only need two. So actually this episode we might start uh no. No, uh, by the by the time we're done, we'll definitely finish getting everybody's best weapon um by the end of this episode, but we definitely won't have or we definitely won't be starting the Coke Bowl. Pokeball will be next episode, and then the following episode will most likely be for, um, Source Farm. Alright, now in order to get uh, Bookings, he's rather down ever since his, he returned from that trip. I'm worried something might be happening to Bugenhagen now of all times. Okay, so um, in order to get to Red 13s, do I have to have him in the party? Let's let's put him in the party just to be safe. We'll go ahead and put him in the party. Um, now, Grandfather is going to end up passing away 
Oops. Um, and before he does, he gives Red 13 his best weapon. Um, which I believe is called the Limited Comb, or what's it called? Limited Moon. It was a limited something. Actually, while I'm here, I have the money. This is the only place you can buy hit point pluses. Come on, come on. I want to buy two of them. I'll buy three. Okay, so, and I will, um, I'll go through and I will let you guys know what, what's so special about each weapon. Um, Cloud's ultimate weapon, which is called the ultimate weapon, is, uh, it's attack, it attacks for how much um, hit points he has. So if he has 9,999 hit points, he does 9,999 damage. Um, if he has 5,000 hit points, he does 5,000 damage. It's not a, uh, he's not going to consistently do a lot of damage. It's whatever his, whatever his current hit points, not max, but current. So if he gets hit and he's almost dead, he's you know he's not gonna do as much damage. Um, we'll go through the other ones. Grandfather. Okay, so they're gonna leave them alone. Grandfather, Nanaki, you're still here. I can't leave you like this, Grandfather. It's the duty of. Seto's son to guard this canyon and her people. Listen, Nanaki, I think you may already know if you have any mission in life, it is not to defend this valley. Look at the withering mountain grass. Listen to the warble of the newborn chocolate. Look always to the eternal flow of time, which is far greater than the span of human life. It will teach you more than staying here in the valley. What you will see, he, what you will see, will eventually become part of the life stream for my children and for your children. So please, Nanaki, go with Flounder and use your eyes, your ears. Ho ho ho! Now, now, don't look like that. I'm all right. It's a big world, and you must go out and see it. You may even find your life's mate. You never know. Grandfather. Oh, yes. Take this along. I think it will look good on you now. Ho, ho. And he's dead. All right. Red 13, is Buginagan? Grandpa told me that he's going away again. Away? It seems like he really liked that airship. He told me he couldn't stay still and just zipped out of here. He even gave me a gift. Look. Limited moon. Wait a minute. Aren't you supposed to give gifts after you come back? Haha. <laughs> Grandpa's a... Grandpa is sure strange. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, he's dead, buddy. Hmm. Maybe we'll run into him again somewhere. Yeah. Maybe. Thanks, Flounder. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Now all that's left is um, Flounder. So Barrett's ultimate weapon, I'm, I'm reading this real quick, is... Uh, The damage that missing score outputs is directly proportional to the combined amount of AP of all materia in the slots of that weapon. 
It has an attack power of 98 and an attack percentage of 108. Okay, so that, you know, the attack of that weapon is based on, um, like, if you have a bunch of um, summons in the slotted weapon with mastered summons, and because summons take forever to master, um, the attack is going to be greater. Okay, so we did clouds, we did barrets, Tifa's. Premium Heart has eight slots, no growth, obviously. Premium Heart deals more damage as Tifa's limit gauge fills. It has an attack power of 99 and an attack percentage of 112. Okay, that's neat. Um. Well, let's get back over here before I start reading more. Alright, so Eris is... It powers up whenever one member of a party is knocked out. It becomes extremely powerful when two are knocked out. It has a Materia 6 slot growth um, and is the only ultimate weapon with Materia growth. And that's because, obviously, she dies. Oh, are you kidding me? I'm really only doing one damage right now. Um, oh, let's do bolt three. Okay, so limited mood, the one that we just got. Okay, we're good. Um, the effect of Limited Moon deals damage based on Red 13's current magic points. It's like the ultimate weapon, but instead of instead depending on hit point, instead of depending on hit points, it depends on magic points. It has an attack power of 93 and an attack power of, uh, percentage of 114. Okay, so now we can start going after the ultimate weapon, um, which I actually I'm going to go back to Kate and Tifa. All right, so Kate's its best weapon. Um, it deals damage based directly off of the character's hit points. So hit point plus material is a good boost here as an attack power. Okay, so uh, uh, Kate's its hit point shout is the same, basically the same thing as. Founder's ultimate weapon. Uh, and the Venus Gospel that we just got. The Venus Gospel deals damage based on how much magic points the player currently has, just like Red 13. It is recommended to get MP plus material to maximize damage. Okay. Now, uh, the Conform is the ideal weapon for more. This, okay, I, I think I was talking about this before. Um, since there is no damage penalty when using more. Okay, so it takes the damage penalty away from um, with certain attacks, like Morph. No, Morph has a damage penalty, and um, it uh, if you use Morph, it does like half damage or something like that. Um, with the Conformer, there is no damage penalty. So when you're Morph, when you're farm, uh, far, farming sources, source farming. Um, your best bet is to use Yuffie and the Conformer. You're not going to get AP, but you're going to get, um, you're going to do max damage with the Morph. And the only way to use Morph, or the, on um, the only way to Morph something is to kill it with using the Morph. Um. So, there's that. Okay, so last but not least is Vincent and the Death Penalty. Death Penalty's damage increases as monsters are killed in battle. As an attack percentage of 99, or an attack power of 99, and an attack percentage of 150. Okay, so that takes care of all of them. Alright, so in order to get uh, the ultimate weapon, um, I'm going to bring Kate back out. Okay. I'm gonna. I, I gotta look at my stuff real quick. 
I should be okay. All right, who has enemy skills? She does. Quadra Magic, Ultima, Lightning. Oh, okay. Whoa! Where did all of your. Was it Barrett that I had out? No. Sid? No. Oh, it was Yuffie. Gotcha. That's right. Um. No, I don't want Yuffie. I'll take Barrett. I'll go with the original three. No, I haven't. I haven't done Red Thirteen in a while, so I will go with Red Thirteen. Okay. So, do I have any better equipment for him? Did I get anything? Ah, oh, I got the limited moon, but I don't really want to use it. So I don't have anything better for him. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna equip the missile on him. Magic defense goes way up. Okay. So let's exchange... Yuffie to Red 13. Um, I think I gotta put long range on him. In fact, I think I'm gonna have to... No, because I, I just won't attack with her. I'll just use Ultima. Okay, I think we're ready for this. Let's go ahead and save it, though. Just to be safe. We're going to save over this one. Let's do this. Okay. Oh, crap. I don't, because I can't, I can't hit him. I probably should have. Yeah, I can't reach him. Alright, I mean, I'll still win this fight. I'll just have to remember to put long range on Cloud. That's what I'll do. I'll put long range on Cloud because he's got double cut. And then I will throw. Um, and I'll just use mine with. I'll just have to use mine with um, Red 13. So he'll be doing uh, ultimate two. fight him I think three or four times. So it's not all bad and you're not gonna get anything after every time you fight him. Alright so now what we gotta do is we gotta keep trying to run into him. This can be a pain. Come on. Come on. There we go. Keep running into him, and he will eventually go to his next area. Find out. Yeah, okay, he, I think he's headed to his area. If he doesn't turn again, he will head directly to...
Oh, I guess not. I guess he's not heading towards his next area. Trick me. Okay. Okay. Middle Hand Mountain. Alright. Oh! I forgot to switch my stuff. Oh, it's okay. I don't know. I'll still beat him. Wanna haste her. I should be able to hit him with... Um, limit breaks, no matter what. Yeah, it's okay. Alright, now I can't do... Ultima. I need to Turbo Ether, or... Um, Magic. Let's regen. Actually, I probably should have. I guess I can sit here and do Fire 3 on him. Ultima Beam. Fine. Ultima. And then mine. Alright, and then I'll just keep doing this the rest of the fight. And as Quadra Magic levels up, I believe, because when you do Quadra Magic and you use it, you're only, you're doing like half damage. I think as it levels up, it does more damage per hit. Like, um, like normally it would do like 4,000 or 5,000 damage for all time. It's nice I just did eight Ultimums. And he's gone. Quadra Magic is very, very powerful. Especially combined with the right spells. Or, um, summons. Because you can combine it with um, is he here yet? No, he's not. Okay, you can combine it with Knights of the Round and do eight Knights of the Round with mine, like if you mine it. Um, and that is particularly good. Alright, Aaron, don't forget to equip Cloud. Honestly, I guess it really doesn't matter because I'm not having that big of a problem with him. Oh. Hey, when he does that, he jukes me out. Yeah, sometimes he, he goes over Medeal, sometimes he goes over uh, Midgar, sometimes he goes over um, Cosmo Canyon. I think he's heading to Medeal, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, I will go in real quick. I'm going to save it too. <gasps> oh, yeah. Oh, well. That's fine. Oh, so... Materia... Range Exchange. For 13, I want Long Range... Swapped with Guild Plus. That works.
So I'm doing roughly 10,000 damage every time she does that. Some, a little bit more, maybe. Now my double cut will actually work. This time. Oh, that stinks. I missed. I missed with the last one. It's okay. I want to W item. And use a potion on myself. So, Red 13 can't attack, um, but I can throw M Barrier. Oh, he left! Ah, that's fine. Now, every time he runs away, um, he doesn't actually gain hit points back. He does have a certain amount of hit points. I don't know what the total is. I do know when he hits, when he gets under 20,000, he will head to the Cosmo Canyon area. And that's where the final fight will take place. Let's see if he's over there. Please be over here. He's not over here. He'll be floating right here. Maybe he's above Midgar. Because I think he's, uh,. He's supposed to go above Midgar as well. I think that's a programmed fight. Is he over there? I don't see him in the air, unless I wasn't paying attention. He's not over here. Okay, so he must... Oh, maybe Northern Crater. He can be over the Northern Crater, too. Just in case he is, I should stop off. I would like to um, finish this fight. Ah, that doesn't matter. We'll fight him one more time, and then we're going to call that an episode. And then we are going to... Uh, we'll finish this next week. Or not next week, next episode. And... Uh, Not over Northern Crater. Where is this guy? Gotta find him first, huh? I'm not sure where else he could be. If he's not over here, I because I don't see him flying around. Oh, there he is. Yeah, so next episode we will finish this, and then we will have everybody's best weapon. And then, we're going to start, we're going to capture the wonderful Pokemon, we will finish off the, we will finish off the, uh, Kokobos, getting the gold Kokobo, then we'll get Knights of the Round, and then we will start farming sources. While we're farming sources, I will, uh... Yep, okay. So say he will eventually, I think this is a, not scripted, but... I think he does eventually come over here, no matter what. Now that he's on the ground, you don't need lo Whoa! That's not cool. Does a lot of damage. Goodbye. 
Yeah, that that does a lot, a lot of damage. Um, as you can see, it did at least 2,000 per hit, sometimes more, and it hit like 10 times. All right, so let's see. Um, let me use a tent real quick. All right, let's see if he's over Cosmo Canyon, unless we find him in the air. He might be over the northern crater. Yep, okay. This is the last fight. Alright, um... I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and call this an episode, just right at 30 minutes. Um, next episode we will, uh, finish getting the ultimate weapon. Um, then we will, like I said, we will start on the Pokeball races. So let's go ahead and save it. And I hope everybody is enjoying the series. Remember, if you are enjoying the series, you go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Um, hit that subscribe button, guys. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.